My name is Camille Hunt and I'm the Senior Registrar at the North Carolina Museum of History. Today I'm going to talk about how we got this shotgun. This shotgun dates back to the mid-1800s and was made in England. It belonged to and was used by Henry Barry Lowry. Henry Lowry was born in 1821 in Robson County and he was the eventual leader of an outlaw gang, the Lowry Gang, during and after the Civil War. The Lowry Gang consisted of Henry Lowry, six family members, two escaped slaves, a white man, and two other men. He was viewed as kind of a Robin Hood figure. He robbed plantations and gave the spoils to the poor. He protected people from being forced to work for the Confederacy and also caused some death along the way. In 1869, North Carolina Governor William Woods Holden outlawed Lowry and his men and offered a $12,000 reward for their capture, dead or alive. In 1872, Lowry vanished. Rumor had it that he had been murdered, but the price on his head was never claimed. Even into the 1930s, some swore he was living peacefully in the backwoods as an old man. This shotgun was donated to the museum by Duke University Archives in 2007. This donation is unique. It came from an institution rather than an individual. Sometimes institutions and museums receive artifacts that don't quite fit their mission, so they work hard to find homes that are better suited for the artifacts, somewhere that can take care of and preserve the artifact in the best way possible. Are you interested in learning more about the artifacts in the North Carolina Museum of History's collection? Please visit our online collections database at ncmuseumofhistory.org forward slash collections.